Hey guys, um, I just thought I would do a little vlog today. I have not posted a video in like three or four weeks and I haven't filmed either so um, I just got out of the shower and I look crazy. It's Saturday, it's like one something I think. But anyways, um, just kind of like going to be a little random thoughts video I guess. Or like what's been going on type thing. But I'm sitting at my vanity right now. So I haven't posted any videos because other than time like always it's hard to have time to do it. And plus I mean my videos my channel is a beauty and lifestyle channel. It's not just about makeup. So but that's really like the majority of videos that I post um, and just I've just been thinking about um, things I guess and as far as all of the beauty videos like I don't really I can't offer anything that much different than what's already out there because for example all these big beauty youtubers they get sent all this makeup like for free like these PR packages like all the new stuff and what's coming out like it might not even be out for another month or two but they have it already and so that makes it really hard for other people to um, I guess just provide content that's different I guess you could say or talk about different products um, I've seen a couple other people recently mention this and it's been on my mind for I mean a few months really ever since I've had my channel because it's like I mean a beauty channel is nothing unique obviously if you watch any YouTube videos but anyways so I've just been thinking about that and what I want to post I mean I'm not gonna stop making beauty videos I'm not because I really it's just I mean makeup is obviously something that I like and enjoy doing or talking about but um, that's just kind of something that's been on my mind and why I really haven't posted anything because it's like I might film something but then I'll be like well that's um, crappy I'm not gonna post that because I mean like somebody's already like this isn't anything new and exciting because I honestly haven't been buying that much makeup lately I have bought a couple of things but a lot of the things I've been buying have been repurchases and stuff like that and I recently I don't know if you want to call it a declutter or not but I've I always go through my makeup collection every few months because when I get too much stuff that I'm not using it really just kind of um, drives me nuts I guess you could say so I'm going to show you a few things that I've um, pulled out and I've got sitting here that I'm just going to give away to um, friends or whatever I don't I typically don't sell my makeup I'm not trying to um, make any money get any money back because I mean I don't know I just I'm not worried about it I just want it to be gone and have someone actually that's going to use it I don't know if you can hear the lawnmower or not but um so that's and also my closet I went through my closet like two weekends ago and I got rid of a bunch of clothes that's another thing that I've always kind of tried to do too is just keep my wardrobe to somewhat of a minimum I'm not a minimalist at all and I never I'm not that's not anything I'm trying to do but um I did that a few weeks ago and I just really want to have not a lot of things but just good things that I like and I'm, that I'm going to use and that might mean spending more money on each individual product or piece of clothing or home decor or whatever but I don't want to just have a whole bunch of stuff that I'm not using or that I don't enjoy so 
I've also seen it's springtime, so people are spring cleaning and decluttering. So that's another thing I've been thinking about over the past few months too. So I just wanted to mention that. And I might do like a spring cleaning video. I don't know. That would probably be kind of boring, but it would be like a vlog style type video. And when I think of spring cleaning, I think of deep cleaning, like doing things that you don't do in your regular weekly routine of cleaning so that's just what I think about so I might show you guys that but I don't know when I'm gonna do that it'll probably be a few weeks before I decide to tackle that but anyways okay let me show you the things that I have pulled out here okay here is a few things that I'm getting rid of and I could definitely I went through my that's my lip some of my lip products I went through those I just tossed those out um, because lip products is something that if I've used I don't like to give to anyone unless they've just been very lightly used like here is two eye duos from bare minerals well this one is a quad it's um this one is the purples but this is a bite beauty lipstick thing for lipsticks that I just thought that I had to have I'll bring it over here because the lights it's hard to see in front of the window and I've used like one of these a couple of times and just wasn't really a fan I guess so I'm gonna give that away Too Faced peanut butter and jelly palette like not didn't use it had this for a long time and when I when it come out I was like oh I just have to I want that and it's like okay I'm not like I'm not like 20 years old or anything and I know what I'm going to use and what I'm not going to use and I mean these colors are really pretty I mean you've got that crazy jelly color there but other than that it's really a pretty little palette but I'm just not going to use that and this one was very hard for me to let go of it's the Lorac Pro 2 palette. Um, again, a very nice palette. And this is something that I have used, as you can tell. But I'm just, I haven't been reaching for it lately at all. So I'm going to pass that one along. And another newer palette. Lorac Pro 3 palette. This one. Not, don't use it getting rid of that um eyeshadow palettes is something that's very tricky for me honestly i don't wear a whole lot of eye makeup sometimes but i like to buy eyeshadow palettes i know so very pretty palette too but getting rid of that the makeup forever um artist shadows volume one palette bought this um it's been i don't even know a while ago and show you that pretty colors I mean really pretty natural everyday colors just don't reach for it I mean I don't know why I just don't and something else that when it was released I was like I just have to have that and again really nice it's the Tarte uh, blush palette but it's like do I need all these blushes I've got that drawer right there has blushes in it it's like, do I really need all these blushes? No. Two more blushes I'm getting rid of. Um, this one by Kat Von D that I've had for like ever in the shade Truth. It's a pink shade. Um, again, really pretty, but not using that. And this is crazy. A dadgum NARS blush in the shade Luster. That is very popular. Don't like this blush at all. Like, come on, y'all. People love this. And I'm like, I've used it a few times. And I'm like, that's terrible. I mean, on me, I guess it just depends on your skin tone. Or, I don't know. But I'm like, that's not. And, okay, lots of money sitting right there. <laughs> but, it is what it is. And I have lots of other stuff that I could get rid of too, but I mean, 
I cleaned out this little drawer. This had a whole bunch of Maybelline eye tattoos in it, like those little um, cream shadows. Cleaned this drawer out too. I've only got a few drugstore eyeshadows in there. I've got my Bare Minerals eyeshadows and eyeliner in there. Some more Bare Minerals stuff. But my brushes, I've gotten. Decluttered my brushes, but I haven't gotten rid of my brushes. I've got them sitting underneath my vanity actually the ones I don't use I've just pulled these out a new eye palette that I got. I know ridiculous This is the Mac 15 Neutral palette from Nordstrom.com. This was on sale a couple weeks ago like two or three weeks ago and I picked this up I've had my eye on this for like probably a year or so and I decided to pick it up because it was on sale. And I just, I've only had this a little while, but I have been using it and enjoying that. And eye palettes, I could get rid of some of those as well. But really, those are kind of like the ones I want to keep. Like my naked palettes, which even though I don't use those that much, but you, you get my drift. Um, but yeah, that's the makeup mess. So I was wanting this to be like a little short vlog. I don't know how short it's going to be. I feel like I've been sitting here and talking for like 10 minutes already. But anyways, okay. I'm about to do my makeup because I have got to go to town. Do my stuff. My grocery shopping. Um, my girlfriends are actually coming over tonight. And we're going to eat pizza. And my one of my girlfriends had her baby yesterday. So I'm going to swing by the hospital and see her for a little bit. And, yeah, that's the plan. So, we'll see what kind of footage we get. I don't know. It might be kind of boring or something, but we'll see what we come up with. Okay, I've got my makeup on. I'm just going to give you a little quick rundown of what I put on. Nothing amazing, as you can tell. Um, this is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. Use that. And I have been using my MAC Prep and Prime in, I don't even know, it's a highlighter in shade medium. I kind of use that like up here on my cheeks a little bit. Concealer, my Urban Decay Naked Skin. Um, for face powder, something new that I've gotten is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, the shade Light Plus. Just got that when I got that eyeshadow palette. Been using that a little bit. Highlighter is my favorite highlighter, and I swear it's like the only one that I need. And it is my Laura Mercier Fake Highlight in 01. See how pretty that is? It don't look like you've got a dadgum disco ball on your face. Um, and for blush, I've been using this little blush. It is a blush by Smashbox and is in the shade Chiffon. I've had this for forever. I've been using that so much. It's just, I don't even think you can see it. It's very light shade. John Mo in the yard. And I sprayed my face with what little bit of my MAC Fix Plus that I have left. Mascara is L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And eyebrows is Anastasia Brow Wiz. Not Brow Wiz, but it's the pencil in soft brown. So that's the face. I've got to go put some dry shampoo in this hair and try and make it look a little bit better. left the house um I swear like putting on some lip gloss just I put on the I have on like a NYX butter gloss like don't leave the house without something on your lips even if you have like very minimal makeup on like a lip some shine to your lips I feel like it's just an essential you know what I'm saying there's your makeup tip of the day Okay, I'm home from doing everything. Um, I got the seed the little baby and held him for like an hour. So that was fun. And went to the store. 
Um, got the pizza. If you have a Papa Murphy's where you live and you've never tried it, it's like what we always get that's so good. It's just one of those take and bakes. You can make whatever pizza you want and you bring it home and you bake it. They're amazing. That's what we always get. So I've got a couple of those for tonight when the girls get here. But I just wanted to show you a few random things I got at the store. Um, one thing that I freaking love and I think is like awesome. Okay, if you like to eat frozen waffles, these right here are amazing. I've been eating these for like a month or so now. They are the thick and fluffy. They're like a big old Belgian waffle. Oh my goodness. So as you can see, cinnamon brown sugar. They have them in blueberries and they have them in plain. Thanks, yes. And they have them in plain, but cinnamon brown sugar shut the door. These are amazing. I eat them plain. I don't eat syrup on them or anything because that's just too sweet for me. But I swear they taste like a dad yum. I don't know. Some about them makes me think of a funnel cake. Like the consistency of them, the textures are just like really soft and oh my gosh. I will never eat a regular frozen waffle again because these are just, they're amazing. Okay, and I saw these. It is some Ritz chips and it's salsa verde flavored. I love salsa verde so I just thought these would be tasty to try. I'm all about a chip or something crunchy and salty. And saw these. I've been seeing these for a few weeks at the store and I'm like those look super good. Picked up these and yeah I already tried them and they are delicious. I mean it's dark chocolate. If you don't like dark chocolate I don't know you would like it but these are absolutely delicious and they have different flavors they had i uh, picked up oh they had coconut um those looked really good but yeah bark thins yum okay guys this is gonna be it um, I know this was kind of maybe a little bit random, but anyways, that's kind of fun sometimes. And I will talk to y'all later, and thank you for watching. Bye, guys.